Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this channel and also might as well just ring the bell and get notifications when I post my videos because when I say baby, it's about to be lit, okay? You can see right now I am going to be doing a makeup video today and right now as you can see I just put primer on her face and I'm just going to do basically a basic beginner tutorial video for you guys today. As you can see right now, I'm just putting on foundation on her right now. And I'm using the Real Technique makeup brush, foundation brush. And the foundation that I'm using today is the Maybelline Stay 24 Hour Stay Foundation Matte Finish. And that foundation a little bit goes a long way. You do not need to basically cake up the foundation on your face. Just a little bit and it'll just cover almost all your blemishes. So let me know if you guys are feeling her hairstyle because I can give you guys a nice tutorial on how to achieve this hairstyle also. After applying the foundation, I'm going to do her eyebrows. And as you can see, I use my spewy brush from Bobbi Brown to brush out her eyebrows and I'm going to use a brown eyebrow pencil that I bought from my local hair store and you can find this at any of your local hair store for like a dollar. You're filling in your eyebrow, you must basically fill it in lightly, do not fill it in too dark so it doesn't come out too basically square-ish and too dark but however if it comes out dark there's a trick way that I can tell you how to basically make it go back to kind of looking light and natural and after filling in the eyebrows please please brush it out and blend it in like brush it out and blend out that eyebrow pencil because it will look basically squarish and too dark So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and the foundation to basically clean up her eyebrows. When you're cleaning your eyebrows, it is better to use the concealer at the bottom and the foundation at the top because if you use the concealer at the top, you can basically see a light outline of your eyebrows around your eyebrows when you're done with your makeup and that don't look good. cleaning up her eyebrows as you can see right now I'm putting on the concealer on her the LA girl pro concealer I believe the color toffee on her to highlight under her eyes her nose her forehead her chin applying the concealer I let it sit for like 30 seconds before I start to blend it and right now as you can see I'm using the Real Technique Beauty Blender to blend out the concealer
after blending out the highlight, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Palette to contour her face. When you're blending out your contour, you must brush the makeup, the contour section, in an upward circle motion so it may blend into your highlight. After blending out your contour, you may use whatever setting powder that you have to set your highlight. And the setting powder that I'm using today is the Laura Mercier setting powder and it's the color tan. I'm also going to use the translucent setting powder right on top of the tan. After setting your face, you may use whatever face powder that you may have to brush off that excess um, setting powder that may still be on your face. And also, that will also cause you not to have any flashback when you take a picture with the flash on your camera. So I did this totally backwards. I was supposed to do her eyeshadow first before I even put um, foundation and anything else or whatever. But as you can see, I'm putting concealer on her eyelids again to base the eyelid so I could prep it before I start doing her eyeshadow. So the palette that I'm using today is the Anastasia Subculture palette and the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using today is the Axis Untamed and Electric on this palette. And as you can see right now, I'm using the Untamed color. It's that dark um, army green color on the palette. And with this color, I am using it as a base to basically bring out the other colors that I'm going to be using on her face. And I'm using a brush from my BH Cosmetic brush set that I have and blending in that eyeshadow under her eyelid. creases in the beginning crease and then the end crease I'm going to use the color axis to make it bring up basically a darker greener tone to it to really bring out the eyeshadow on her eyelids so you know melanin
putting on the eyeshadows and blending them out, I'm going to use the electric color, which is a shimmery greenish olive color, which is super beautiful. sometimes you like to itch and itch your eyebrows or whatever so today I'm using a Lancome eyebrow gel to keep her eyebrows in place because she stay itching liner that I'm using today is the e.l.f. liquid black liquid liner and I am applying that her the highlight with a Found small foundation brush so it doesn't overpower her face and her cheeks so it's not everywhere as you can see as you can see I am brushing any excess highlighter that is left on her cheeks so it's like not all over her face and just glittery child I could not find my tweezer for nothing I had to apply this lash with my freaking fingers and it was so hard Never go wrong with a brown liner and nude lip gloss. I'm telling you, as a black girl, you can never go wrong with a brown liner because when I say your lips gonna be looking juicy, okay? Juicy. I'm using a Sephora satin liquid lipstick it's a nude color i'm not sure what color it is i can't even find it no more but basically as a base color before i apply the lip gloss on top of that base color the lip gloss that i'm using is from benefit i'm not sure what color it is however Everything that I use in this video is practically affordable and most of the things that I actually use were things that I bought from like Ross and Marshalls, like the Anastasia palette, I found it at Ross, I mean Marshall, and I was so happy. You can see after finishing um, fixing her hair and basically trying to get the whole look together, you know trying to get some pictures in before the night is over <laughs> once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this look and you might as well go follow me on my instagram at J.